Hi everyone, today we are going to be working on a Steel 036 Pro. We're going to be doing a pressure check of the crankcase to check if we have bad crankcase seals. What you're going to need to do this is a pressure pump. This here is a Mighty Vac MV8510. It's actually a pressure and vacuum pump. You can pick these up. Um, Harbor Freight has them for pretty cheap, um, that brand or others. Need a piece of tubing. Some adapters to get the impulse lounge. We'll show that in a second. And then you're also going to need some um, thick but also pliable rubber. Um, something that, uh, that you can put behind the carburetor and the exhaust, which we will show us first. The carburetor, um, just cut this little strip, loosened up the two bolts, slid the carburetor back, slid that in between that and the, 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 the bellows there, cranked it down um, to seal that up. Make sure the spark plugs in nice and tight. Um, if you have a pressure uh, relief valve, make sure that's seated. Then over here for this test, I just pulled off the the muffler, um, and then that metal plate just slipped another sheet of rubber behind that rub behind that metal plate, um, and then just put the two screws back in just to seal off the exhaust port. So once you have all the um, ports sealed up. You can run your pressure or vacuum through the impulse. So on the O36 Pro, that comes off the crankcase down there where the flashlight's pointing. Uh, I have it come running up through the black line. Just a cheap adapter from the auto parts store to get up to the uh, blue line hooked up to the pump here. So now we're going to pump this up to 5 PSI should do it. sitting at 5 psi slowly bleeding down now i know that this one is leaking on the other side so we'll shine it uh, we'll do this one first there's just regular soapy water and spray bottle just dish soap and water nothing fancy so spraying that all around the seal not seeing any bubbles forming we're down to about i don't know four psi so we've been leaking down out of somewhere, which is the other side. Pump that back up to 5 PSI so we get a good example of how to look for this. All right, so now let's check the seal behind the flywheel. And that is what you are looking for for a leaking crank seal. So it is pretty obvious that's a, that's a pretty good size air leak. That's what you're looking for. All right, so I'm going to, at the end of this video, I'll link to the additional videos showing how to replace that seal and get that fixed and solve running again. Thanks for watching.